<laughs> What's up, High Rod City residents? If you're not a resident, resident, motherfucker. <laughs> What's up, High Rise City residents? If you're not a resident and you want to be a resident, just go down on the bottom, click subscribe, hit a like. I don't even care if you like the video. Just give me, leave a comment. Tell me you don't. Tell me you do, something. What I'm working on today is Crack Camaro 2.0. No, not really. This is, I bought this car because I had wheels to fit on it. And it was cheap. I like cheap cars. Which would suck if I ever win the lottery because there's going to be a lot of cheap cars just in my yard. Like three times as many as there are now. But, so, I want to put a JDM as it were. Um, I paid 400 bucks for this car. It runs, it drives, it moves. Uh, the horn works. It's got some severely bad gas in it, so like you gotta like hit it with some ether to get her get her going. But then she's good to go. Uh, the Dingleberry I bought it from just didn't know apparently know nothing about cars. The radiator, the the AC condenser that's in it doesn't fit. But I mean it's there and it's hooked up, but it like doesn't fit right. And then. The radiator's new and the trans lines were only just barely snugged up in there. So they were leaking. It's nice to get transmission fluid all over my brand new concrete floor. Well, not brand new, but new-ish. So, this is my project, but I'm not working on it. I'm actually pulling the drivetrain. I tra made a train for some other stuff and I need the motor and trans out of this to put into that. So I'm going to pull the motor drivetrain out of this and it doesn't come out of the top. You have to drop it out of the bottom. So I'm going to get to it. So I'm tired, a little hungover, but I got the motor out last night and then I uh, buttoned it all back up put it all back together today, put the K-frame, subframe back in and all that jazz. So uh, it wasn't actually that far out of whack. Lowered it down, nudged it a little bit, started a couple of bolts and put it all back in. Uh, attached the steering, bolted the K-frame back in, uh, the rear, I mean rear cross member. So, because everything in, is in that needs to go to this car, we'll have to sort out the wiring later because uh, a good chunk of it came out with the ECU and the motor and everything. But, uh, I mean, not a lot. Some of it went from the ECU into the car. So I have to, once I find a pin out, you know, I'll figure all that out. Which is later down the line, because I need to pin it out for the new motor and trans going. I'm trying to find out what's going on with the drivetrain for this now. The people, the company that I want to buy it from, uh, the import company, they don't, uh, they're not answering my messages. So, I'm trying to get dimensions on a motor, and it's not helping me very much, so. But, keep trying. Uh, I'm not in a big rush for this car. So, if I come across it between now and then, and when I'm ready, and then, yeah, okay. You know. Maybe somebody else is selling it, or I find the car that it actually comes in. But it's time for this thing to go out. I'm gonna figure out how to get it back into the yard and all the way up the hill without damaging it too much. And then we're gonna pull the uh, amateur touring cutlass in. And then the drivetrain's gotta come out of that. Uh, the trans is no, well, it's kind of no good, it slips a bit, but it's enough to move it around the yard. So, but I have plans for the motor. So we're gonna stick the motor aside. Uh, it runs pretty decent for what it is. I'm actually thinking about putting it in a boat. So I got a little jet boat, we're gonna try to maybe try to put it in. So, we're looking into that. But, yep, 
Time to get this out and pull the cutlass in. So stay tuned for the next episode of Hot Rod City when we start actually start on the cutlass. I just wanted to show you guys where it was coming from. And then when this comes back, you'll know where the motor went. So click subscribe down on the button, down on the bottom. Um, leave a comment. Like just put what's up or hey, how's it going or nice job, whatever. I don't care. Just put something down there. So uh, let me know you guys are enjoying this. So, later.